everybody, welcome to my channel. I'm Miara Jennings, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how I turned this into this. Stay tuned. Okay, so I'm starting out with this pretty cute crew neck that's lined with some faux leather, a little fancy. But you can also just use a regular t-shirt. I'll be using a hammer, this little eyelet kit, large eyelets, this black binding lining tape, my favorite fabric glue, a needle and thread if you feel like doing all that. I really didn't so I just use a fabric glue but it is completely up to you. Faux suede cord, scissors, and a pen or a pencil to draw with. I placed the links of some of these items in the description box below so check it out. Okay, so now that I've got all my supplies, I'm going to get started by using the measuring tape to measure out the center of the collar. Now guys, I could not find a ruler anywhere, so I just grabbed this Oreo box to use as a straight edge to trace out the V shape that I want to cut out. Now I'm going to take the scissors and get to cutting. I'm just grabbing the center of the triangle so I can cut a hole and then start to cut along the trace. Being very careful that I don't cut the rim around the neck because we want that there. So after cutting the final piece out of the triangle, you know, I took a look at it and I was like, we can go deeper. We can take that thing deeper. So that's what I did. Took the Oreo box and just marking a deeper V, a little more dangerous, a little more risque. Cutting the last piece out of the triangle and then we've got our plunging neckline ready to go. Now I'm taking this double folded lining and I'm just gonna measure out to see how much I need on each side so I can line that V. and just cutting off the excess lining. After that, I'm making sure the fabric of the top is neatly placed right in the middle of the fold of the binding and just cutting the excess at the bottom to make it nice and neat. Now I'm taking this amazing Fabric Fuse fabric glue and just gluing the binding onto the edge of the V. Putting a pretty generous amount. Just wanna make sure everything is nice and secure since I decided not to use a needle and thread or a sewing machine. And now it's time for the exciting part, the eyelets and the little eyelet kit. I'm starting off by placing the eyelets along the binding so that I know where I want to put the holes. So I'm just spacing them, kind of eyeing it, seeing what looks good. It's looking pretty good so far. After looking at it, I decided to go back and remove some of the eyelets so I could have it a little more spaced out. After that, I'm just taking a pencil and marking the middle of each eyelet so I know exactly where I'm going to cut. And it is time for the scissors once again. I'm just grabbing the binding and folding it right where I marked and making a little slit. Very, very little. Then you're gonna take the bottom of the eyelet, which has the smaller hole, and just stick it through. Now I'm taking the bottom part of the eyelet application tool and placing it underneath the bottom part of the eyelet. Next, I'm taking the top part of the eyelet and positioning it on top of the bottom part. And then this little metal part of the eyelet tool goes right on top of that whole entire thing. Now just gently hammer everything together and the two pieces will secure together. Looking good, looking good, okay. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and continue that all the way down both sides of the lining. This is probably the most fun part, but also the trickiest. So just make sure you're not cutting slits that are too big. Yeah. 
All right, now that all of the eyelets have been so beautifully secured, we are ready to lace up, folks. So now I'm taking this faux suede cord in black and I'm just measuring out how much I will need because I don't want to take the whole thing off of the roll. And that looks good. And now it's time to start lacing up. I'm starting from the bottom and I'm just zigzag lacing it all the way up. And we are done. Love it. I'm just gonna let it dry overnight, but when we come back and try that thing on, honey, this thing is looking good. And that's it. Here we have it. Comment below and let me know what you guys think. And if you have any ideas for another DIY project. Thank you so much for watching. Hit the thumbs up if you liked it and make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notifications bell so you can stay up to date on all my latest videos. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye. We made one of those lace up tops. Get out of here. Yeah. What do you use? That's cool.